Sky. This is for Aries. Check your Mars. Where you have Aries in your astrological chart. All the information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid and all of the services and voodoo products that I provide in the description box down below. Thank you for being here. Thank you also for all of you guys that have been reaching out, DMing me, messaging me, calling me, FaceTiming me, Zooming me, and telling me how proud you are of me and giving so much love and compassion and kindness and empathy. You guys are all phenomenal beings that are contributing something so unique in this collective that helps us all become better. And you're phenomenal. Okay? Truly phenomenal. Thank you so much for supporting us. Like I said. Okay, let's get right into it, Aries. Show me Aries past life. Show me Aries past life. Okay. Okay. So some of you, ooh, some of you are in the mob. Russian mob. Venus and Leo energy, that's uh, Venus and Leo, the strength, that is the mob, that is, you know, gangs, and they have the potential to what? Hinder a community, right? They can they can hinder a community, they can harass the community, they could, you know, drain them of their pockets, and da -da -da, or they could contribute to their community, which many gangs and also certain mobs have done, right? They have actually contributed back to their community because they wanted to see a sense of growth, right? So you have... Russian. A lot of you are in the Russian mafia, Russian mob, I'm hearing. You also could have been Russian royalty, I'm hearing. There's something about the Russian dance, the Russian culture. You could also be Russian, okay? If you did like a ancestry DNA test or something like that, you'd probably come back with something Russian, okay? You have battle. Ooh, look at that. You went to, into battle. You know, Aries, you have something so unique and profound in you. You have an awareness of who the hell you are. And nobody can tell you different. That is what makes you powerful. That is what makes you get up in the morning and go after anything. You don't care what it is. You don't care how things have played out. You just keep moving forward. You just keep going through it. This is something you've done every single lifetime. And you know, the Russian culture, when we think of the Russian culture, it's a little cold, it's a little detached, it's a little serious, okay? It's about its, its money, it's about its worth, it's about its value, it's also about its morals and ethics, okay? Very um, traditional, okay? You also have North America. A lot of you guys, I'm also seeing like, uh, I'm seeing where there could have been a, um, I'm hearing deportation. Could have been deported, okay, if you, um, were trying to be in North America, but you were really Russian, didn't have a green card, you got deported. Or it's even like, um, I feel like a lot of you guys fought to get to North America. A lot of you guys actually fought to get, like you could have been a Russian immigrant, okay? But you were also like a soldier. I'm seeing knighthood, okay? So there was something you were constantly learning. And when we're thinking about North America, we're thinking of something a little bit more lax, but still as brutal, right? And still as, um, resourceful now we're thinking astrologically about location okay which I've been studying and, and getting into there is a certain vibration to each location in the universe astrologically and if you even look just just look we're talking about structure maybe even pentacles because it's a physical reality right or even air air right because we have height but there's structure. There needs to be structure. In North America, there's actually not that much structure as you would actually believe. Right? As far as morals and ethics. I mean, Aries, you represent the animals. The animalistic nature. The impulsiveness. The, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to say it. I don't care. That's the Aries energy. And the thing about it is we say that animals are, are beasts. Da, 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 da. But we do things as humans that are worse than animals. And we have the knowledge and the awareness that we are in the wrong. So who is the real animal? In North America, we're also seeing water, right? I thought like you used to live in the woods. Woodsman! I feel like saying you were a woodsman, a lumberjack. <laughs> I feel like saying that, I'm so serious. A lumberjack, I'm saying someone like, um, 
Something about Jupiter is important too. Santa Claus, like Christmas was really pretty. Uh, ice skating, I'm seeing ice skating. Um, waltz, like a, it's like a Russian dance. I'm really seeing you could have been in like a Russian dance. You used to court somebody as a knight. You courted somebody. Um, but the structure is different. You get what I'm saying? I'm seeing that um, this could have even been multiple past lives I'm picking up on for you. But with the North America, we're seeing water, meaning it's more emotional, right? More emotional. And pentacles, we're seeing trees um, grounded. Yes, talking about physical manifestation. Yes, talking about emotional fulfillment. Fresh. Fresh uh, intellect, because it's fresh air. Fresh intellect, it's the woods, it's the open air, like the winter grains, it's the fresh intellect. The fresh intellect, but no fire, right? And that is what you realize was in you, an inner battle, the fire. You wanted to express that fire. This is something that you've been wanting to do in every lifetime. You also could have been a father, or your father was very significant to you. Also camping trips, um, I'm saying camping trips, okay? Let's get you a deck. Let's see. Wait, tell me get you this one. So this one it is. I'm doing your reading before my flight. Okay. Let's see. That's good. You could have been a father in your past life. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It's the vibration. Okay? The roles could have also been reversed if... Um, in your past life, the father of your, uh, the spirit of your father, could have been whoever you are now. Right. So say you are a woman, a daughter. The father, the spirit of your father, could have been your daughter in a past life, and you were your father's father in a past life. It reversed itself. Okay. That's why you hold a level of masculine energy. Um, you probably got along very well with your father. You like masculine energy. You like sports. I feel like saying you like sports or books or literature or even the army. The military. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. How beautiful is that, my little Aries? Pisces and Mars. You are famous in your past life. I'm seeing you waltz. The Renaissance. I'm seeing you waltz through this, um, this ballroom. And you're just working the room Aries and you're so good at it oh god you're so good at it I see you were happily married happy children you got um you work with celebrities you were very famous you work with uh cars the esoteric or cold finances taxes on assets other people's money athletes um you even worked in a prison or an institution or an asylum or like a mental asylum for some of you guys but you were extremely emotionally fulfilled and even if you were single you knew not to settle for less because you know you you knew your worth. You were balanced with the masculine and feminine energy within yourself. And you also had a relationship that was just like a, a dream come true. Just like a dream come true. Your job was so emotionally fulfilling. It had spiritual purpose. It had imagination. It had innovation. Mysticism to it. Okay? You have Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn, Four of Swords, Jupiter and Libra. You like to be out and about. You like to be um, seen. There was something you let go of that you put a lot of hard work into. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius. There was something you put a lot of hard work into. Okay? That you ended up letting go. This was recognized by many people in a negative light. Okay? Three of Pentacles. Capricorn and Mars could be school, could be the army, could be the government. Okay, it could um, even involve like um, you work, you teaching. Yeah. Look at that, Ten of Pentacles. 
Virgo and Mercury. And who do we have at the bottom there? Queen of Wands. I love to see it. This is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ten of Pentacles. Goodness, this is a gorgeous reading, Aries. You know what you did? That. <laughs> you did that? Okay. Um, what I'm seeing is you had imposter syndrome. You did about yourself. Um, you were very, oh, you became aware at some point how detached you were you from your emotions, okay? Some of you are a part of the LGBTQ community. Some of you are part of some type of fraternity, sorority, some type of brotherhood. Um, some type, you could be an astrologer, some type of technology. But what you became aware of, the self-development and then you have the dove, the hope to evolve. That it doesn't just have to be hope. It could be a reality. You realize, oh, I can be happy. I can. And you were. Because you let go of the mind games. You see playing chess and there being games and the clock meaning a representation of time and physical and the hold on physical manifestation. The hold on materialism was released. You released this. You released it so that you could evolve and grow and transform. This can also be something that's going to be coming up for you since we just went through the um, new moon in Scorpio. Yesterday, November 4th, 2021, it's here. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada currently right now. Um, yeah. What time? I don't know what time it's on. It is 4.02 p.m. November 5th, 2021, Friday, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Anyways, three of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Mars. Um, this is like school. I feel like you let go of um, needing to be recognized and realize it was about the bigger mission of how can I help others. Ooh, I love this, Aries, because you're all about self, right? And now you're thinking of how can I truly help you know the the universe because i am the universe the more i help myself evolve the more that i'm going to be able to help the world evolve right and um the otter i actually did a report on otters when i was like in the fourth grade one thing i can tell you about them is that they're really good with teamwork you've mastered something and now you can help others okay collaboration as well, combining of finances for some of you. But in the past life, I'm also seeing with the Four of Swords, you didn't want therapy, you didn't. Um, you had to realize that how you perceived or what you believed about relationships was strictly intellectual and had nothing to do with love. It was all about your freedom, about what served you, right? And the trans, this is a transmutation. In your past life, there was a transmutation of this in order for you to have long-term stability. You married into money. Ten of Pentacles, you married into money. You came from money. You had a family business that was highly profitable and had many um, clients. It was... It, you also owned a business that fed your children's children. It left behind a legacy. Okay? You worked in health. Some of you guys worked in the military, the government. Some of you were professional chess players. If you are good at chess, this would explain why for some of you guys. But you released the need to have control, right? That stemmed from ego, which is found in the blood, which is what you rule as well. You release that, almost like a dove. And the eye is behind her, the eye. Now, you began to see clearly what you wanted to invest in. But you were also very wealthy. You, you bought a big home or you, you bought a big car or something of that nature. Um, I'm seeing the bees here. You were, uh, there was a, a pregnancy, a baby. There's a baby, there's an umbilical cord coming out of her. There's crystals, there's a key. 
there's a key and there's pomegranate. So Persephone energy, Virgo energy. Um, Virgo and Scorpio used to be one before Libra came in between. Hmm. This is about humanity. Also fertility, birth, pregnancy. Okay, adding to the family, to the legacy and the queen of wands. I mean, this is gorgeous. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fecious in your past life, you're a witch. Okay, um, as far as we're talking about, uh, even like, yeah, I mean, the Queen of Wands, the witch technically in the astrological zodiac sign would be um, Virgo and Scorpio. The psychic would be Cancer. The mystic would be Pisces. The shaman would be Scorpio as well. The Queen of Wands is a dancer. You are a dancer, an actor, a singer, a rapper. You were into theater. You were in the spotlight. You were seen. You would, you know, walk into a room and the party would get started, okay? The party don't start until you walked in. And with the Queen of Wands, you were so high vibrational, so beautiful, so gorgeous, so sexy, so alluring, okay? The way you dressed, oh my goodness, you set the world on fire. You love red wine for a lot of you because I see this red wine here. Um, there was just, I see this star here. You shine very brightly. Some of you were astrologers. The Queen of Wands energy is also, um, some of you guys worked in prisons, institutions, asylums. You could have been a mechanic. Some of you were athletes. Some of you were, um, you were seen, um, in the spotlight. Okay. You were very, um, famous or well known. A lot of you also worked in the esoteric or the occult or you work with money. Okay philosophy, psychology, spirituality. But your spirit was driven by this fire within you that not even you knew that you had until you became enlightened about who you were. That was always within you, Aries. This is so gorgeous. Oh, you are such a warrior. Such a warrior. What can you tell? Ooh, that's a lot of cards. What can you tell me about how they can utilize this? How Aries can utilize this, please. Okay, you got a card. Earth. You could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Venus and Leo. What did I say? You were a part of the mob. Don't tell me you weren't. You were. Or you are. You might be a part of the mob now. And you're like watching this reading. There's a lot of different people that watch my readings. You'd be surprised. Okay. Um, belief systems, oh, I love it. And earth, the present, okay? Um, this is going to be affecting your money now. In, your, in real time now. But this is also in your past life. You were famous. Venus and Leo, and I myself have a Venus and Leo. Venus and Leo, um, people are like, uh, people who've had that placement, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Amy Winehouse, Jennifer Lawrence, 50 Cent. Um, Solange, ASAP Rocky. And the Venus and Leo energy is about having unconditional love of self. And when you do that, Madonna, she has uh, Venus and Leo. When you have that, nobody can tell you who you are. You attract people to you like bees to honey. And you're the honey, right? It's so abundant. This is what did I say. It's affecting your money now. That's why it's coming up for you now. Oh, I love this for you. A lot of you guys are famous, though. You were a part of the mafia. Or you were even in a relationship that was so strong. This person felt like an angel, like your rock. Okay, they weren't going nowhere. They were with you through and through, through the thick and thin of it. Into the thick of it <laughs> type of thing. All right. All right, let's read this one for you. What's interesting is I love that it's red. It's really representing the... Um, root chakra of your sense of identity and your awareness of you of you oh my gosh do you know how special you are Aries do you know who you are the queen of wands everybody wants the queen of wands everybody wants to be the queen of wands the queen of wands is in competition with no one she's not better than anybody she's not less than anyone but she's driven by fire. 
And this is also about saying, what does fire do? Yes, it can burn. It can burn if you're irresponsible with it. But if you're using it, so that when you walk into a dark room, there's still the light. It's because it's from within you. So that there can be even a bonfire to be able to spread that light to others that maybe are in the dark. Instead of trying to put others down, she uplifts others. The Queen of Wands. It's so hot that when you touch it, you might get burned. <laughs> Let's read your card. There is a human tendency to cling to belief systems and rationalize them as facts without realizing that there are without realizing that they are illusions. In fact, any construct of our minds, beliefs, thoughts, emotions is an illusion and not representative of our true nature as aware consciousness beyond the human experience. This is seen as a unique human trait, one that obstructs our growth at every turn. Take a look at your belief systems in your view of the world. See them as constructs of ego rather than universal truths. Ooh, I like that. Only one truth exists, that you are pure consciousness. Everything else is an illusion. This physical manifestation is an illusion. That's why it's Earth. Earth, is, Earth signs are the most demonic. But it's simply because the physical reality is something we can become addicted to, right? Materialism, um, uh, getting into relationships for money, different things like that. This is something that you didn't want to do. You said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to build my own abundance. I come from money. I am valuable. And exuded from you like a flame, Aries. Belief systems are complex maps that we build within us that help us navigate our inner and outer world and create our view of reality. The Queen of Wands is also someone that um, a lot of people uh, sort of like, you know, drool over and fawn over, okay? She receives a lot of attention from people. And if she was in a relationship, if you were in a relationship in your past life, you received so much attention from your um, your partner. They fawned over you. They just, they just wanted you to know that they loved you and that they wanted you. That's who the Queen of Wands is. She's someone that you're just, you're all over. Because it's warm. Right? It feels safe. Belief systems are complex maps that we build within us that help us navigate our inner and outer world and create our view of reality. They are often formed unconsciously from early life experiences or past lives. Ooh! They keep us feeling safe, but they also stop us from growing. On Earth, at this point in time, there's a high degree of attachment to our belief systems, and this keeps us in opposition to each other, as is seen in religious, political, and social conflicts. Personally, our belief systems keep us stuck. They stop us from loving ourselves, from growing, from healing, and from moving forward, and moving toward unity consciousness. In this time of tremendous growth on Earth, it becomes essential to look within and identify these belief systems, including those about ourselves and those about the world around us. If this is coming up in your reading. You're being asked to look at the belief systems of those around you and how you are affected, as well as how your own belief systems keep you stuck and possibly hurt those in your life. This quest is not a pleasant one, but it is an essential one for all those seeking to awaken their consciousness. And go on a treasure hunt deep inside yourself. Ooh, go look at Cancer's reading. They had some type of treasure chest or something like that going on with them. So this could be affecting you about love, right? If you're like, I'm not in a relationship, well, you're supposed to be in one. But there's something that you need to learn in this lifetime that you did in the last lifetime, okay? Wow, for you to have this long-term stability, a, a business that is going to feed your children's children even, okay? What you will find can greatly serve you in your growth if you apply the, the lessons. What's interesting also is I feel like it almost feels like when you're having an awakening. You're having an awakening. You're becoming aware. This is a new beginning for you. 
You're stepping into leadership. You're manifesting into the physical reality. You have a new vision because your vision before was just too damn small. Your vision of success was too small. I actually wrote a quote today. Quote, it came to me out of nowhere today. I said, if you base your success on what others consider successful, you will never succeed. I know. I don't know where it came. It came from spirit. Honestly. This has been your reading, Aries. If you would like um, a reading or you'd like to look at my other services about voodoo products, it's in the description box down below. Down below. Next to the bottom line. Ashay. <laughs>